People living on this Kent County lake say that road salt is hurting water quality and killing fish. All new tonight, News Ace Kyle Mitchell explains how new research is providing insight on what's happening in the water. The beauty of Church Lake is undeniable for those who live on its shores. It's wonderful. It's a little slice of heaven here that's hard to describe to people. Thomas Van Tol is the president of the Church Lake Association. We've lost the deep water fish because of the salt. So now it's mainly just panfish. The neighborhood was concerned about the water quality because of salt runoff, so they contacted GBSU. They commissioned a study for our lab to further investigate what is going on in their lake. Ellen Foley, a GBSU graduate student research assistant, has been part of a team conducting the research and collecting samples. We're seeing really high levels of chloride, which is a component of road salt. And we're also seeing very high concentrations of phosphorus all at the bottom of the lake. The lake is bordered by two busy roads with the Beltline to the east and Fulton to the south. The Road Commission says it tries to use the least amount of salt as possible and balance public safety. In the past 10 years, we've cut back our salt usage by about 15 percent. The Kent County Road Commission says high volume traffic areas, including the roads surrounding the lake, require more salt. And in recent years, it has improved techniques. The more we remove mechanically, the less it needs to be melted off. According to the Road Commission, there's no simple solution. Until the motorist changes that, that demand, that expectation, it's, it's really tough for the road authorities to say, hey, we're, we're going to just cut back. Still We have to protect our nature around us. I mean, it's, we're so intertwined with all of this that if we don't, we're going to end up in a bad situation. In Grand Rapids, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.